The word inlay means small lake. It's ironic because Inlay is the second largest lake in Myanmar, covering almost 45 square miles. It is incredibly shallow, with an average depth of only 5 feet. Even during the monsoons, it's only 17 feet at most. The Inta people have made their living fishing and gardening on Inlay for centuries. Not surprisingly, their name means children of the lake, and everything in their lives revolves around the water. Entire villages are built on stilts, and transportation is provided by boats, some powered by small diesel engines, and others by hand or foot. Floating gardens are their main source of income. Anchored to the lake bottom with bamboo poles, they're thick enough to walk on. They're famous for growing tomatoes all year round. The gardens are built on mats of plant material harvested from the lake. They rise and fall with the water level, avoiding seasonal flooding. The lake isn't always this serene. There are times when the traffic and noise gets crazy. Sometimes it's just the locals going about their business. And other times it's the tourists in long boats. Some areas of the lake are heavily infested with waterborne vendors. At times it feels like you're about to be boarded by pirates. I thought we were safe this time until I heard... Locals do most of their shopping on the shore. Open markets are held daily and rotate throughout different locations around the lake. Here, other ethnic groups like the Shan, Pao, and Bamar gather with the Inta to buy and sell. One popular local product is the handmade cheroot cigar. Men and women alike enjoy smoking cheroots. The people of Inlay are devout Theravada Buddhists. At least a hundred pagodas and monasteries are located in and around the lake. Sometimes the only way of reaching them is by boat. One pagoda in particular holds five small figures of the Buddha. Worshippers have covered them with so many pieces of gold leaf they are no longer recognizable. Only men are permitted to place gold leaf on the images. Once a year these five statues are ferried around the lake. One year they all fell in and one couldn't be found. Later it miraculously appeared back in its place at the pagoda. Taken as a sign it wanted to stay home, this statue is now allowed to skip the annual tour. In Buddhism, the lotus symbolizes rising from the primeval mud of materialism into the bright sunshine of enlightenment. At Inlay, the stem of the lotus plant is used to manufacture a special fabric used to make robes for Buddha statues and clothing for visitors. Today, Inlay is facing serious problems. Floating gardens are taking over large amounts of open area. Silt buildup has allowed some to attach to the lake bottom, causing plants to drown during floods. Pesticides used in the gardens are polluting the water and killing the fish. And invasive species like the water hyacinth are getting out of control. 
Finally, there are the challenges of providing clean water and sewage disposal for increasing numbers of visitors and residents. These issues are far from the minds of most. For now, Inlay is a beautiful and fascinating place to visit, but without some serious intervention, it may not remain so for long.